So what is going on everybody my name is Mehul and welcome to your 18th Android application development tutorial in which I'm gonna extend the last tutorial a little bit by just showing you how to play around with this dynamic addition of buttons and all that good stuff on your screen so right now we just created a simple application where it just dynamically kind of adds your button on the screen when you click on that particular button but that's kind of boring and actually useless to do so let's just make this application a little bit fun and you know nice so let me just get rid of all that code and I'm gonna say actually I'm gonna switch this from relative layout to linear layout and the reason is that while we are pushing the buttons on the layout screen linear layout would kind of makes make that easier for me to stack the button on the you know in layers but with the relative I need to specify where to place the next button as well so that would kind of take a lot of time and even code would become a lit, little bit buggy and hazy so I'm gonna change this to linear layout instead of relative layout and change this to linear layout as well so here we go and uh, again I'm gonna say button button second button equals new button and then main activity dot this where main activity is the name of our activity right there now you could actually explicitly specify the parameters as well which we did like second button dot set parameters in the last tutorial with that particular thing only so like if you want to create a lot of views at one go and all of them should have kind of common parameters so you can do that like this so you have to say like a linear layout dot layout parameters parameters right there and you have to set a variable name obviously so let's just say my funny parameters and again you need a new keyword right there not an in you linear layout dot layout parameters and uh, layout param parameters and then inside here you would again specify the width and the height just like we did later on I mean earlier so this is layout parameters then this is let's just say we make it match parent right and then I'm gonna say the same thing dot layout parameters dot but this time let's just make it wrap content so the width would be match parent like the elements would be stacked like this and the height would be only the height which is required right so okay so now we just need a semicolon right there and the next thing we have the button so we need to set some sort of things with this button so I'm gonna say second button dot set text and again I need to have like I am a button right and uh, actually what we can do is actually we can make this button a bit unique by saying that we have int i equals zero and I am a button with a twist which is I'm um, a zero button right then the second one would be I'm um, a first button and actually you just need to make sure that you just update the button as well so here we go and just move it right here so now we are pretty much good to go and uh, I'm just gonna go with this I and then I'm gonna say that uh, I guess we don't have that linear layout yet in our code so my layout is find view by ID R Okay, so it was my layout only not ID my layout and then explicitly just this is linear layout and find view by ID here we go and now finally what I need to do is I'm gonna say my layout dot add view 
then I'm gonna say this is my second button and for explicit parameters you need to specify the parameters right here so my funny parameters would all be the parameters which would be applied to this button so that is pretty much it about it and uh, let's just see how this looks like on the phone so let me just adjust my seat right there and uh, here we go so let's just create a new button and I'm a one button I'm a two button three button four button pretty sweet and cool actually so you have actually developed your first dynamic program with Android and uh, what else you can do with this is that you could actually make use of other properties and I'm just gonna show you what properties you have access to if you take a look like here in the design just click on this button so you have access to all of these properties in the code as well like your um, I'm just gonna say that uh, the one you recognize like gravity or the ID which we already made use of then letter spacing then maximum width then this on click padding text which we already made use of then text size theme and all that awesome stuff so you could just do that from the Java as well and uh, for a quick view I could just show you that how you can set background color so you need to set a background color then you need to make use of the color library right so you need to import that and it would just show me in a while so RGB let's just say I'm just gonna go with three zero so it says me to import Android graphics color so just do that and uh, you would be good to go so if I just restart my application and uh, you see that the buttons are kinda black now so that kinda sucks but you could just play around and then familiarize yourself with all of these properties as well so I guess that is pretty much it for this tutorial and uh, if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one